Lord, let us through this day be blessed and care for hands, Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. Brother Isaac, God bless you. We welcome each everyone, each and everyone to tonight's program. Our Bible study still continues. And as usual, we are in the classroom. The Holy Spirit is our teacher. The angels are our classmates. Our Yahshua Messiah is the invigilator. And Elohim Yahweh is the headmaster. So today we welcome all of us to the classroom. Amen. 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 Good. Last week before we left, there was a homework that was given. So today I'm going to call on everyone to give me a correct answer to one single question I'll ask you. Uh -huh. So, with all pens down, I, because your cameras are off, I can't see whether you are watching through your nose. I can't see, but the Holy Spirit is my witness. He's watching you. Amen. <laughs> okay. So the question I'll ask uh, Malon was, what was the homework about? The homework was about the do's and don'ts on Sabbath. No, sir. I will ask your wife. Maybe you have forgotten. He, she can remind you. The homework is about... We needed to learn the Ten Commandments. Thank you very much. So it's very good that your wife is sitting there beside you, Mr. Malone. Don't worry, she's, that she's your helper, so she has reminded you now. <laughs> so if you forget the title of the homework, you will not do the homework. So uh, you proceed to the homework. Mr. Malone, okay. since your wife has reminded you it was about the Ten Commandments, I want you to tell us the first of the Ten Commandments, Mr. Um, Malone, the first of the Ten Commandments. Simplify. The first of the Ten Commandments is that we shall have. Without no looking other... into your Bible, look at me. Without looking into your Bible and tell me. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I turn on the camera? The first of the Ten Commandments is uh, that we should not have any other gods before Yahweh. Good. Good. Let me clap for you. You said it well. God bless you. God bless you. Good. Carol. Carol, yeah. God bless you for being here shalom, tonight. Shalom. How are you? I'm fine. Shalom, shalom. Yahweh, shalom. Carol, please, can we see your face, please? Uh, yes. I try to turn on the camera. Can you see Good. me Good. I can see you now. Good okay. one, Carol. Yes. May Yahweh bless you for turning on your camera and give you extra 50 years more longer to live. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. <laughs> please, can you tell us the second of the Ten Commandments? You shall not make idols. You shall not make idols. Let me clap for you. You did well. God bless you. God bless you. Good. We move on to Mama Mary. Or say, Mama Mary, you should have ten commandments, you know. Now last week, the council will be on course. You ten commandments, you know. It's near Bible Bosho. If I tell, so I come and I'm here with you, Mama Mary. Mama Mary, oh. Perpetual and patch are ready. Perpetual and patch are ready. Why? You are near come match, near come my betty. Why, my fro, I want you, Mr. Naja, sir. Why join a can win so? Meet me, Jigger, you free to come, come, come. If I call your name and you don't respond, it means you have just joined the Zoom and put your phone somewhere and doing your thing somewhere. We can't. I'm here because I'm doing some, that's why I'm with myself. Oh, okay. I was calling Mama Mary even. This is a perpetual. God bless you for being here tonight. Please, can you tell us the third commandment? Please Sorry, you said yes. what? The third commandment. If you can see your face, you will like it. If you can show us your face. <laughs> you know. You know, yeah, you know, I mean to me, me. So, my Petra, please tell us, let us see your face, and then you tell us the Ten Commandments, please. Okay, okay, please, one minute. One minute, I'll give it to you. Mama Mary and Patrick, why are you ready? Please, that's me. Okay. 
The third commandment is you shall not take the Lord Yahweh names in vain. Good. Thou shalt not carry the name of the Lord thy God in vain. Mama Betty, you are ready. Yeah. Me part of my fourth commandment. You know why? What is the fourth commandment? Yeah, who anymore? Oh, sorry. If I see a hero and near her son, I'll kind of be near her mouth. I'm not making. Good. The fourth commandment is remember the Sabbath to keep it holy. God bless you. What are the nephew? Nice one. Nice one. Matt. Matt. The fifth commandment, please. The fifth commandment. Matt. Who is Matt? Matilda or Matt? Yes, Matt. Mama Mary, still I want to mean so why you now in the castle, Mama Mary. Yes, I need time and you cool. If I turn at the mat, okay, forget about it. Let's move on. We are going back to round two. Uh, the fifth commandment, Mrs. Marlon. Mrs. Marlon, Mother. the fifth commandment. Honor your father and your mother. Thank you very much. God bless you. God bless you. Good. The sixth commandment, Mr. Malon. Thus, I'm not looking to the Bible, Mr. Malon. <laughs> Thou art not looking anymore in the Bible and shall not murder. Good one. God bless you. <laughs> Mr. Carroll, the uh, Kaiko. The seventh. the seventh commandment. Uh huh. You shall not commit adultery. Thank you very much, Mama Betty. The eighth commandment. That shall not steal. No, God no. bless you, <laughs> Sister <laughs> Patricia. Patricia, my view. Auntie, my Patricia, Auntie Mary. Auntie Mary. Uh huh. Oba pray from sir. Yeah, yes, no, no, we pay attention. Yes, I know. Uba is like you are in the church. Yes, I'm part of my hand. I see a fraud for a young son. Baby, son, I'm a man, you know, I'm a man, 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 I'm Mate, why yo? And then patch of my the eighth commandment in why? I see a mock crown. No, no, me that say perpetual and patch of all. You might the ninth commandment in why? You shall not bear false witness. Thank you very much. Uh, Carol, give us the last commandment, the tenth one. You shall not cough it. You shall not covet. So we can see that everybody can say one particular one. Good. I want somebody who can tell us all the ten chronologically. All the ten chronologically. Uh huh. When the bet me a can of maku maku in this one is to come a come a come a my. Who can say that one all? English, English or Chinese? Uh, whichever language. I think English should be better. Okay. But we want to see you and your lips moving yeah. up and down. Then we can see it's you, Perpetua. Obi, Obi, Papa, Papa, Obi, hold to me, Obi, to me, Pep, if you can speak the chi, no problem. Okay. But I want to see your lips moving. Maybe it's computer you have set the volume on. No, no, I've not set any computer. I mean, I'm, I'm at work. That's ah, you are at work. Computer. Ah, okay, yeah. okay, no problem. <laughs> Uh -huh. Come in, call. I see a more
the way Jane won any, a mock chrono, and say our dear, and the Adansi Crumo, and a maw when Nimre or young from Adi. No, my idea. That was a key version. Papa, what he? What he? O Jabacum. O Jabacum. O Jabacum. O Canine. Nine, a cabaco, a cabaco. Or come back twenty, but I seven to one. Okay, Martin. Number one, no, I can say number two, no, I can't. Number three, no, I can't. Number one, number one, and then you're for coming home. Good. Number two, and could two when you be a Number three, a more a radio Number four, Kai Homedana Number five, the way Jani Uh huh. Number six, a new. Uh huh. Number seven, and say our dear. Uh -huh. Number eight, a mokrono. Uh -huh. Number nine, any other than the chrome. And then I want to Uh huh. Ah, okay. Number ten, <laughs> number ten, I'm going to be a young quad. All right. Why are they? Why are they? Why are they? Good. Let me want those who speak English. Carol, Mrs. Marlon, and Marlon. One of you to say the English one, then we close this one for now. You shall not have any other gods before me. Number two, two, you shall not make any idols. Number three, three, you shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain. Mm -hmm. Number four, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Uh -huh. Number five, honor your father and your mother. Mm -hmm. Number six, you shall not murder. Uh -huh. Number seven, you shall not commit adultery. Mm -hmm. Number eight, you shall not steal. Number nine, you shall not bear false witness against your neighbor. Number 10, you shall not covet. Good. So let this be at the back of your mind. Because you can't be a Sabbatarian if you don't have the Ten Commandments with you on your fingertips. Chronologically. I also need this with this war. Kama, kama, kama. May Yahweh bless all of you for doing your homework well. Amen. 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 Today we are going to move on to the do's and don'ts. What are the um, things we are allowed to do on the Sabbath and what we are not allowed to do on the Sabbath? Now, before we go on there, a big history about it. Before Israel was sent into captivity to Babylon, they disobeyed God's commandments. As in Israel, according to the of Babylon, na omudi ebunyako po asem so most especially the sabbath so when they came they say hey because of what we went through wo mo koba no say hey they are for muni na ya then they are going to add a little bit more to make it extreme so that nobody will touch it and make mistake so na tell ya ni di be shi shem se be ya eh obi nkoto no it defended the traditions of men. Huh. So apart from what God had laid aside, the Pharisees, they added more to make it more difficult so that you dare not break the Sabbath. Otherwise, God will punish you. And to almost far near Yemua, Yemua, do almost call Babylon, you know. Almost had almost the rule, rule, we say, but yet tarry a man for So today we are going to examine what we can do and what we cannot do on the sabbath amen amen now everything that we do on earth there are principles attached to it now there's a ten commandments by the way you have to learn it also we will go back again everything has principles 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 so we are going to look at the principal thing that holds on to the sabbath the principle number one is that god made the sabbath uh -huh. And that is found in Genesis chapter 2, verse number 3. Uh -huh. When you read it, it is there. God said that the Bible says that Elohim but Yahweh. But I say I Genesis chapter 2, Mama. Okay, mm -hmm. So the Bible says God rested on the seventh day. He rested. He didn't do anything. He rested. So Yahshua, uh, sorry, Yahweh, or Jenahome, a day to son son, Ushra, a daughter son son, 
my yang it was made for man so let's quickly jump into Isaiah chapter 58 let's read the basic fundamentals of the Sabbath and from then we're gonna see what we can do and the living ways to go about it so if you have opened your Bible we are all going to Isaiah chapter 58 Isaiah 58 Isaiah 58 Yes, we can, we're going to read the English and the tree. Isaiah 58. I'm reading the English. Mama will read the tree very soon. Verse 13. He says that. Isaiah 58, verse number 13 and 14. That's what I'm reading. Uh, here, if you turn away your foot from the Sabbath, from your pleasure, oh, sorry, from doing your own pleasure, you see, that means if you resist from doing your own thing, don't do your own thing, and you call the Sabbath a delight, the holy day of the Lord honorable. You shall honor him, not doing your own ways, not finding your own pleasure, nor speaking your own words. The, line, the words I've underlined, they are very, very critical. Those are the do's and don'ts of the Sabbath. So listen again. If you turn your foot away from the Sabbath, from doing your own pleasure and calling the Sabbath a delight, you must call it a delight. Somebody's phone is cracking. Let me mute it and later on. Who is it? Okay. And then you call the name or you honor the holy day of the Lord. Not finding your own pleasure, nor speaking your own words. Then you shall delight yourself. In the Lord, I will cause you to ride on the high hills of the earth. So those are the do's and the don'ts in Isaiah 58. Okay, let's see. And I will give, I will feed you the heritage of your father Jacob. The mouth of the Lord has spoken. So these are the fundamentals, principles of the Sabbath, according to Isaiah 58. Now, when you say turn your foot away. Mama, you can't change one. You have to change this here. That means don't trample upon it. Don't walk on the Sabbath day as if it is your day, as you're walking on the carpet on your in your living room. Don't do anything with it. No, it's not yours for you to trample upon under your feet. And if I will not eat here, so you never free. So any other day, from doing your own pleasure, any day when you beji was sad and you, any day me kabo me kabo party. I'm going for this school. It's a weekend. You're going to do your own pleasure. No. Call the Sabbath a delight. For instance, a a a holy day of Lord honorable. For any dear madam, a dear dear any dear Emma. Two, honor him. For any dear human yame. Not do your own ways. And yet you want to say ope. And yet you pesem yewe. Yet you pesem yewe. There be. You don't do the things that you like. It's an honorable day for the Lord. Nor finding your own pleasure. And call had the ma wen ya je uko uko chisoroku uko party uko funra. No, it's not a time for that. Nor speaking your own words. Don't a new komojin jang and say when I threw a no bank can on that honorable day. Don't do those things. So the verse 13 tells you do's and don'ts and the verse 14 is going to give you a reward then you shall delight yourself in the lord and when you and i'll cause you to write so the verse 13 gives you the do's and don'ts and the verse 14 gives you the reward so let's listen to the three version 
Mama, please, can you read the three version for us? Yeah, three, three, no, what can I say? Mama, Betty. Pachibu, how about you, Pina, my? And then the two, my, I'm Koswana. Okay, Isaiah 58, verse number 13. Okay. Okay, uh, I think I'm no, who me the dear pa soon. So, so what's that? 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 What's now Fremi, now Fremi, whom did I say? Any Jeda. Now I did that concono say that are a set any day. Now what now? Now would you now didn't would you know me now one fat one for our work council? Now one yet, dear, who are our people? Now one can't. And some hunu ah fourteen and now we need veggie a radio home. Now mamma wafa as I see so strong strong beato. Now mamma wedi weja yakubu a japadiano. Okay. Yakub ya yokop a japadiano. Yeah. If you if you say a radi ano Amen. Amen. Oh, yeah, that's it. Good. That was a three version of the uh, Isaiah chapter number 58. So we are going to jump in direct to see the do's and don'ts that are applicable to our lives today. There are some of them which I will allow Papa Isaac to chip into it. Uh -huh. Because Apostle have laid emphasis on certain things. So first, let me jump into this one. Number one. It's a time to spend with God and with your family. Sabbath so is a great time to just spend time with loved ones and friends. Invite your family over for a great Erev Shabbat. Erev Shabbat New Year, preparation day and a Friday evening. With food prepared before the Sabbath begins. Or spend time together during the day on the Shabbat. Having lunch with food prepared for the day before. If you are a Messianic Jew, okay, this one, it does not correspond to us. Then what you can do is spend time with the congregation in the synagogue. Say that, as you are doing now, we spend time. See, we are this, this one here. See? So on the Friday evening, we attend synagogue. That means we go to church. We spend time with the congregation, like we are doing on the Zoom every Friday evening, whether in person or virtually. Having an uh, honor after the service, gather with, uh, uh, with food of you the Zoom these days where it's just applicable, you know, like we are doing now. Every Friday evening, 6 o'clock at sunset, we gather. You bet me, I was sorry, them are bomb pie, I be a was here, but yet me and cross sorry, them what they are. Then I was here, you bet me, she will zoom so. Friday numere six o'clock echo. So from six o'clock we meet. Again, we attend services. You're quite sorry. Whether you are a, 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 a Messianic Jew or, or a Christian who attends service or both on a, a Sabbath day. So the Sabbath day is meant to draw closer to the Lord and be fed. The do say ye which is the word of God. So when we gather on the Friday evening or Saturday, we are being fed in the spirit. Fellowship with believers is vital for us as a church family. No, it's up for us to fellowship together as a church family. Good. Another thing is to read and study the word. So on the Sabbath day, it's not a time for you to do your housework or company work 
or you bring your work from your workplace and do it in the weekend. And yes, about day no enna ye de be ye a fee a juma and I say oh ye juma wo uh jumem and away me and the akabe fia be weekend in yanesa. Devote time to reading and studying the Bible. So from Friday evening through to Saturday, either you go to the church or when you are at home, you read the word of God and you have time to study the word of God. Read together as a family and allow for open discussions. Just now, I feel we be kind of one ma uh a woho and a bush ya four, but the maj and badam will share the nyaku pwaka. No mushe nyamiasem. So it's a time for you to feed your spirit with the word of God. It's one of the do's. Okay. Another one is set apart. Hmm. Make it a different from other days. Ma set Sabbath no any strong concra from this terminal. Let it be different. You can do this by saying no to your telephones, no to your social media. But me can say Monday and on Sunday to Friday. Say there be a phone phones when there be a phone, Instagram, Snapchat, YouTube, blah blah blah. Uh, Ghana radio, whatever. But on the Saturday, drop it. Don't go there. If you repeat the same thing you have been doing from Sunday to Friday on a Saturday, then what difference does it make? Near we hear the frequency of the pum if you are done. Sad the Quran will repeat you a memory that they are, and another difference between them. So you can say no phones. No social media. You can make it like a mini fast for a day and focus on God. Do something that really lets you know that this day is different. Don't repeat the same thing you've been doing the whole week on that same Sabbath day. Otherwise, there's no difference. Sadia Obeyano, question that too, if you had no Sadia now, now Sadia Homer than the app. No difference, be no difference, be any. So make that day different, set it apart. Good. The next one is go outside. After you have come back from church, go outside. Well, free, I'm sorry, Abba, no, I won't be piano, pick up one thing. Get out to enjoy creation. The Yahweh Ayano, Kabontena, Kwe enjoy. Enjoy the breath. Ah, what fresh air. Yahweh, God, I bless your name for creating such a fresh air for me. Kabontena, the Yahweh Ayano, the Hununo, Koyina Yahweh. Sit on your deck and enjoy the view. And just lay on a hammock on your or your yard and the weather, if the weather is nice. So what that ya kwa bonte kwa ye picnic. Piyukone na ma bonte kwa she de nature aye the beauty of nature. Hashem has place all around us no matter the time of the year. Ya we wa de sadi ya mani mina ye kwa ye huwe shia. Si ya yu shia ni yu hu diye ni sana ni masiti ye. You can go to the river side and see how the river is flowing. You can take a side and see ah how beautiful the sight of the flowers are. And admire what God has done. With me, I can bond you. I can share the Yahweh. Because I Yahweh, we shall not be afraid. I glorify Your name because of the good things You have done. For creating such beautiful flowers for my environment, oh Yahweh, You are great. With me, share the Yahweh. I not a demonium, a man. It's part of the things we do on Sabbath. It's part of the do's. Another one is. Create a new tradition. Find something new you can do as a family. Maybe it's as simple as beginning to have that meal on Friday evenings with the candles on. Yashua. Wa ye a hanya wa pierce mu. Wa the light baby ya. You can 
do something different like off your lights in the house light up a candle the candle shining there in the house of darkness means or represents yeshua who is light who is shining through every dark area of your life make it something new you don't do that often once in a while you do that on a sabbath day do something that honors god you read it in Isaiah chapter 58 make the sabbath something that your children look back on with love and carry on for their own families if you do something like this, your children will carry it on to their next generation. So create a new tradition in your house. Change it. Let new change come in. Another point is, or share it like a bride. Ma, eh, Sabbath in Aquaba. Say the Yakwa, your front year change, say, you need to do near born, you must say, I front Eba. No, be a high front Eba. If you are a numerino, welcome the Sabbath as if you are welcoming a bride. So, welcome into your home, not just wake up into it. At the action Saturday, I love my boy. I thank God for any day. No, you are waking up to a new day, not just an ordinary day, but a Sabbath day. Oh, nyane, oh, sorry, I call a dafu from near the biakeke, name a dafu fry yawa aye for a home year. Again, those Friday evening meals, if you do it on Saturday, Sabbath. If you do on Sunday, do something special in the morning to usher into it. And the if it's a better man, you walk meme the nimuno. So play worship song throughout the day in the house and get ready for church. Basorenyom to asorenyom. Oh YouTube, I forgot to be able to home edanyom. Open your radio or your music player. Play worship song through the day. Let Yahweh know that you have welcomed the day in gladness. Good. And that thing is, do good, Yadipa. Do good, Yadipa. If I ask question now, what is an example of doing good? Everybody can tell me something. Do good, Yadipa. Yepapa. It's lawful to do what is good on the Sabbath, Jesus said. A yes, or the Papa or Homeda. So find a way to save others. A quiet breakfast was seven crop four. And yet it be out will be able to catch you. Thank you, thank you. Sorry. And yet it be out over catch you. Be oh, thank you for doing this for me. Thank you. No, no, no. You two do something good for somebody to say thank you. What's your idea? My will be no being cast a medassi. But my friend, brother, I can patch over around missing. I'm a wow. Oh. My year watch it, but I go feel like when you do. Oh, Mama, that's a fact. Just an example. You can say, "Oh, brother Malo, where are you? I am here by a station." My brother Malo, please pass by. I have some Africa king for you. Please come and take it home. Oh, what delicious! Do something good for somebody to bless you. Because Yahweh said it's good to do good to others, so we must be ready to serve also others. Another point is here. Fill your home. What did you ever fill your home? Play, praise, and worship for the day. Boy, yenyom, toy yenyom, who a CD player, CD player, put CD in it with worship and praises. Praise the Lord through the whole day. Mm -hmm. In my house, or uh, my phone, I have Alexa. I said to my player, I'll have to play the whole time. This joy will fill your heart with the Holy Spirit. So the things you have not done through the whole week because you are busy with your work schedules and those kind of things, yeah? Do those things on the Saturday, on the Sabbath day, gloriously and another day. For that day is a day unto the Lord. Those who have parents, talk with your children about God. 
family devotions are a great way to share God's uh, God's word with your children. Share the Bible story with them. Oh ma, ono me ni ya we hunkomo, ono me ni ya shwa hunkomo. Ask them to give you a lesson they drew from their stories. What kind of story to your mama? Man can be being chill. These are the ways you keep the Sabbath. Not that it's Saturday we go from there we finish. No. Share with them about Jesus. And no money Yahshua Hongkomo. This is a great time to compliment the message they got from the church or the children's church. So I'm going to call Bible studies. I'm going to call Sabbath school. I'm going to call Sabbath school. I'm going to call Sabbath school. Why did your children learn? Let them tell you something. Have time to share with them conversations and foster conversations. You know what I if you have a very young children, color Bible coloring sheet with them and tell them about God. Obano musu safe no monte Bible nasia. Wait me a printed color sheet. For example, the coat of many colors of uh, Jacob, uh, Joseph. Help them to color them. Color Noah's ark. Noah with that old man. Color his beard. Color this. Color the elephant. They are they are working into the ark. Eh? Women color not me a color. But then now what's wrong with Yanko Ponsem on the summer day? It will be something that they will grow up with and will always remember as being part of their lives. Oh, my Yinu Koyinano, no more the Sanya man ask you what you know, no more so the Yinu Kop. Work on scripture memorization. Sia, the Queen Befasso, what the Bible quotation be two trim. Every Sabbath, if you can learn two scriptures every Sabbath. John 3 16 this week, uh, first John 3 16 this week, the following week, Isaiah 58 and Isaiah 56, the third week. So, every Sabbath, if you can learn two, only two, who may there be a Shababu quotation, me a new people who dream, who may there be a Bosuman and Sunwanya eight. By the end of a month, you have eight memorized scriptures in mind. You will find some free coloring scriptures memorization cards on the internet these days. Wait, many people pray. I be color. We no money be fear. So on the Sabbath day, it's not just saying it's for rest. No, do something that will bring honor and glory to Elohim. After everything here, <laughs> take a nap. Have a time and rest your body. Kick back. And just let God reward you for a week well done. When I mean, Shra was said, Now, if you know, I was why ya, dear be a mouth, not me, me, done a dear, why I be pray a man. I feel a bra, it's not say, not to a home, not to a home, and I shall come home. Half time and rest. We be be a we are, dear home. Last Saturday, you chink, I'm sorry, you will go for you, say, say, bah, my brain, my room, my tidy, I'm to a foot. Mother, two hours, I feel refreshed. Aha, uh -huh. that is also part of it. But don't use the whole day to uh, to be sleeping the whole day. No, no, half time. Now, there are some other matters that, no, let me pause here and go ask for questions before we come back to the blueprints. You can bring it out before we continue. Aha. Uh -huh. Hey. Any questions, please? Obi wa send me your sir. Okay, let me ask questions then. If I mention your name, I'll ask you a question. So far, Mama Mary. A dear no what ye say also with me or Homeda, Mama Mary. If I tell me, I'm a tea and I said, Homeda, you know, bet me a created BB of ye to say an age ye who be seeing a mere sem na a bit more carbon. I can't send you a body to me and near the other day. Good. Good, me that's it. Why are they? What can be? You're in Shrub. What can be? Why are they? Good. Uh, Mrs. Malone, 
What have you learned so far about the things you can do on the Sabbath on Friday evening? What can you do? Friday evening. Friday evening? Yes. Um, you can light candles in the name of Elohim Yahweh, of Yeshua the Messiah. You can order them by um, with the candles. You can sit with your children. Color. Blue taking it. Color paintings, learning scriptures, learning them the Ten Commandments, mm -hmm. talking with them, listening to some songs. It's good. Yeah, spend time with the family. Good. Thank you very much. I like it. God bless you. Mama Perpetua Ajimai, Perpetua, dear Nusia, what have you heard so far about the things you can do on a Sabbath day? Perpetua, the mission is a do Sabbath. You need to. Perpetua, one minute. One minute, Mama. What? Perpetua, sorry. A do Sabbath. The I also oh yeah the messiah and he said do sabbath you have to go outside and see the nature of Elohim Yahweh, and then you can create something as as uh, you can create like making uh, games with your family. You can spend the time with your family, and at the same time you have to uh, go to church, go to church, and then. Um, read your bible and then you should avoid you can say no to your phone on so, uh, social any social media uh, uh content yeah y yeah that's good. What I good thank you god bless you we call the last person ellen white ellen white please tell us what you have heard about the things you can do and what you should not do on the sabbath up to this very point ellen white Okay, Ellen White, we know her in Shiraba. Mami Dufie, are you there? Me pacho. Me pacho. Dia na oti e kabi bichre yeng. Me pacho me bani, but dia me ti e kakwa me se. During Sabbath, like Sabbath is ordained by God, so always we are we have to have time. Um, for the Sabbath. Mm -hmm. And what do you do with that time that you have for the Sabbath? What do you do with that time? You can go out and see how um, the creation of Yahweh is. You can feel the air. You can go out with your kids and explain things to them how um, Yahweh made things. You can make a, a, a picture, coloring, explaining to them how, um, like, how um, about the scripture. You can picture the coloring, tell the, the children, this is God, this is the hand of God, so that anytime um, the children can put something in their mind and they will grow with it. This Good. Is what I did. Good. May Yahweh bless you. So this mm -hmm. means that your um sabbath shouldn't be a boring day it should not be an idle day it's a day of a memorable it's a day that you honor Elohim Yahweh in the first place you spend time with your children in the second place and those things will help them also as you just rightly said to lift up the name of Yahweh and then transform it to the next generation may Yahweh bless all of us now let's go to the other matters and see. Yes, uh, Papa, remember me kaka answer na wakole na se yimi ka. Okay, yes sir. Uh, kaka me ka answer. Me okay, so we translate. Yeah. Okay. Kaka me ka answer. In chachira abe, it means that many of us are guilty about yeah. the Sabbath. Yes. Many, many, including even me. 
I will never exclude myself from it, including even me. Because sometimes you come from church after church. When you come, you go straight to your social media, either YouTube or Facebook, to go and watch things that are not unnecessary for you to watch. We used to do. We used to. Uh, I remember one of my uncle who lived in Italy. He has been here. He has stayed for uh, Israel about 21 years. And he used to show me or tell me about the Sabbath in uh, Israel. He said, when you go to Israel from uh, Friday, Friday, five o'clock, when you were a friend to a Sabbatarian, from five o'clock to Saturday in the evening, six o'clock, there is no way you can call that person and you get, you get him. The phone, everybody phone a switch off. And the kind of enjoyment and the happiness that they used to meet the Sabbath on the Friday. As you said, let, let us assume when we are in the world and uh, we are we even we are into dating. A day that your, your girlfriend will tell you that I'll pay you a visit. That day, look at the way you will prepare yourself. Mm. You will clean your room. Mm-hmm. You you are, you will be so happy that yeah. somebody is coming to visit you. So that the same as as the Bible is saying, I say even the day is not for you. The, you have to know that the day belongs to the Creator. The day is not mine, so I cannot do anything that I like it or that I want. But I have to do what the Creator wants in that day. So my brothers and sisters on this platform, please, through this teaching, we have seen that many of us, not, not say all of us are guilty of even the way we, we, we welcome to the Sabbath. The, to the Sabbath. <laughs> we have to be happy in the Friday. We have yeah, to know yeah. that there is somebody, a, a special person is coming to visit us. A day, a special day is coming to visit us. The day of the creator, the day that the Lord has honored that day and he has blessed that day. The day is coming. So we have to be very happy. We shouldn't do anything that we want, but we should do what the creator wants. So that, because one thing is that there is a promise. You see, anyone who will respect the Sabbath, there is a, there is a blessing on the day. Not just you are going to spend it. You see, there is a blessing on the day. And many of us are, ble- because there, there's a two things in the world. We have blessing and a uh, curse. So if you don't get the blessing, you get a curse. So if I, if I, I spend or I, let's say I observe the Sabbath and I, I do what I want, it means I'm bringing the curse to myself and my entire family of, of me, including my children. But if I observe it well and I do it what, what the creator wants, it means I'm bringing a blessing even to my, into my, my children, my generation, my home, my family. Amen. Papa, continue. Good. Papa, God bless you. So as we are learning, as uh, Brother Isaac rightly said, we are all guilty of it. Look at how we do our things. That's why it's always good to study. It's always good to learn. Now we pray, Elohim, Yahweh will forgive us all that we did not know. But now that we know, he will help us to do the right thing. Amen. So, uh, let me play this music for you to hear. If you don't know it, I'll put the link on the page for you to uh, play it. It's a song that helped us to welcome the uh, Sabbath. And the artist made it very, very easy for you to learn it. So, I'll play it now for you to hear. And I'll put the link so that when you want it, you can download it to yourself. Here it goes. It means welcome, oh Sabbath day. He has given it free to humankind. Amen. 
I receive you in my peaceful heart. As a light that shines from above. So that was it, just a fragment of it. So I'll put the link on the page for you and you can play it, most especially on Friday evenings. Oh, boni fear the new right, just say, Oh, my home, Dano, a quaba. Oh, did I want well too? So, um, round chain. Amen. Good. So, we continue with our studies on the other matters. Uh huh. And this one contains certain things that are very sharp. So, please, uh, bear in mind and take it as it is because it's the word of God. Amen. Now, if a work event comes up on the Sabbath, you decline. If you don't get all your work done before the Sabbath, you plan for an early morning the next day. Say ye de juma mau. Say ya frau mama agata papa malon. Please come and do extra work. Say no. I work from Monday to Friday. Today, please, I can't work. But if because of money you accept it and you do it, then that one. Elohim Yahweh will ask you. There are certain work that you can't say no to it. We know that. Those who work at hospitals, those who work at pharmaceuticals, uh, police services, a work for the nation that people's health depend on it. And you may be a Nippon Kwa, a Jina Sonodia, which means when you're your doctor, I'll be caught for sure. A doctor, a nurse, and those kind of work, no problem. But school, Mike Werek. Working at the hotel, extra work for extra health, don't do it. When your work has not finished, leave it. So, how many are not so much humano and say, Yeah, jive? When thought about the work pop into your mind, promise yourself you will deal with it tomorrow. Say, You may be about him, say, also, yeah, show us a day, may not know, how many don't you want me? If you need to write a quick note so you don't forget about it. Say I was saying you can see a tribute to a seven year man now can rain fee. But not working on the Sabbath, you are saying God is more important to me than my job. So I can note three juma open so case. Yeah, or you're more important mao chain a juma. So don't accept extra work for extra money. Because you gain extra percentage. In Holland, when you work on Saturday, you get about 150%. Holland for no more than more We are Saturday, you might more. And I say, my more to join our work. Don't do that. The lawyer, I will not take it lightly with you. No TV. Hey, <laughs> hard. Remember, the Sabbath day is about with God. When you read Isaiah 58, he said, don't do your own pleasure. And yet, there be my own idea that if your Bible is there for you to read and TV is there for you to watch, which one of them will you choose? If you are teaching your Bible, your children about how Noah built the ark, how animals get into the ark and people died, will you have time for TV? So, what's that? Oh, my dear, example, said Noah or yeah, Pam Kakra, Adaka Kakra, Kay. And when you never come to save their lives, nearly pay you. You wouldn't have time for TV if you have more things to do for God. You not think about TV, you see. So, God's presence while watching television, I don't know about you, but I don't often experience God's presence while watching TV. So, her TV, I don't know. No, so when it is God's time. TV must be kept out. Mimi fear, my catcher, my say, if you want people to watch you on the TV, you yourself don't watch it. Who <laughs> person be who on TV? So amen, woman. Use that time to work on yourself. So on Sabbath day, if possible, no TV. It's very harsh, but it's best for you. No social media. It's similar to TV. Social media is a distraction from God. 
debia ni e kanse mwoso na u u tie ana we akofa we ana we isei ana ense uhunu basa things that does not bring glory to god you be watching it if a person is on youtube preaching to edify your spirit good one that way you can you can watch it i know you're gonna ask me about that so let me chip into it say a post to youtube so or yeah program which is the saying he's preaching life it's a social media all right but the content is good you have finished all your house then with your husband and children watch apostle teaching you you are edifying your spirit this is social media yet but apostle the virtual platform not to say saturday uh 4 30 ufra soraba apostle yeah like you can watch on it why he's going to edify your spirit or banwa baba kenya or home home but don't be going there to watch uh, the worldly things that will distract the way of keeping your sabbath holy no 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 it's a delight of the lord number five spend extra time reading your bible and praying people from amsterdam most of the time by 12 o'clock you have come back home from church amsterdam will be at 12 not be fear you have the rest of the day from 12 o'clock to 6 o'clock spend time with your family and read the scriptures it's still the last day one of the best ways to build a relationship with god is through direct communication with him when you pray, you are communicating with God. When you read the Bible, He is communicating with you. So, you can pray with God. So, you can pray with God. So, you can pray with God. You can pray with God. You can pray spend time doing that. Be intentional about seeking more time to talk with and learn from God. But what you have was an idea, meaning I'm probably in town. And now you may day and any day, you'll be your brother, Jamami. Maybe King Kayona, a mama, King Kayona, meaning I will have Pompeye. You can take a book, for example, Jonas, Jonas' book, chapter one. Read it, read, 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 and pray. God will speak to you through Yona. You can use that one as extra time to do. Another one is this have a family Bible study time. In the weekdays, you have shift work. Your friend have shift work. Or you have shift. Your children don't see you. But on a Sabbath day, you are free. Why don't you spend time with your family in reading the word? Read devotional passages of scripture for a family. Spend time discussing what you read and then pray together. There are some family where the children don't pray. They don't know even how to pray. So, my intimate mom, Paya, and then, and then, and then, it stinks if your children can't pray. Teach them how to pray. Teach them basic fundamentals about prayer on a Sabbath day. Maybe the whole week, all of you are busy with school house, school work, house work, frau here, manda, but Sabbath day, mungu na mwofia, wano wabusu ya fono, we teach them. Good. No house work, whether it's cleaning the bathrooms, doing the laundry, mowing the lawn, Housework never ends. Send the TV a few days and then send that. We should be from now cinema now oh 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 dog guard the moho. Eh, it never end. There's always something to do. So do yourself a favor and ignore it one day a week. Send that for you be at home. Tell me any other question. I know why. Want to you want to do the laundry? Do it on Sundays. You want to iron them? Do it on Sundays. What do you want to do that you can do on Saturday? Do them on Sundays. If you need more convincing, just remember the story of Mary and Martha. Luke chapter, uh, Luke chapter ten, verse thirty-eight. Time one. Um, Jesus, Eba, Lazarus, Sophia, Na, Yeshua, Messiah. What you all can you hear them? Na Martha, tell me what you Never I busy with kitchen, ho. Matter si Mary, eh, Yashua, who can say Mary no me boy me? Yashua can you say eh? One day what you oh tia the pole, who no I busy? One day oh tia the pa. In English, when Yashua Messiah visited the home of Lazarus, Lazarus had two sisters, Mary and Martha. 
Martha was by the side of Jesus when she was telling the stories and educating them. Mary was in the kitchen, busy preparing food, scrubbing the floor. You complain, eh, eh, Yeshua, won't you ask Martha to come and help me? I'm crying, eh? Yeshua said, Mary, Mary, uh -huh. Ma Ma Mary was the Mary was the one listening to the, to Yeshua, eh? Uh -huh. And Yeshua said, your sister is not picking the best stuff. You are busy scrubbing floor and cooking. Do it. So choose what is better. Ignore the laundry for that day. And you may see the fatuo. And that day, and they will be seen him. And they are around the fatuo. And that day, one day, you have to spend time to wash the bathroom. Put it aside. Fatuo and chain for now. Okay. Another one is this one. Spend time outside enjoying God's creation. I've spoken about that. Some people even don't know where the lake in their area is. Or the forest in their area. They don't. Go there and take a walk. Admire nature. It's not sin at all. Mm -hmm. God can sometimes speak to you through a tree. Do you know that? Mm -hmm. You are stressed up. The bills are piling up. You don't know what to do. Go and take a fresh air. And say, God, I thank you. Even the trees, you feed them. Even these birds flying in above your head. And no man mutunu, yeah, you feed them. Yeah, but please feed me too. These animals they don't work. They don't do anything, but yeah, but you feed them. Oh, yeah, but what about me? Spend time in the nature, walk in the park. Do we do them? At all, at all. We don't. So these things are also important. Good. Have a family worship time. Gather the family together and get creative. Worship God through songs, dance, and storytelling. Uh, today, Malone, it's your time to tell us a story about the Bible, so get ready. And then, um, Carol, you will tell us about Jesus with Mary Madeline. Next week, make a schema, make a timetable. No, I want to share timetable. Next day, we to say, share. It brings unity and love in the home. So have family worship time together, especially on a Sabbath day. Point number 10. Invite friends over for fellowship. One of the ways that you can make the work easier, invite people to come in. Francophone Omra. A Sabbath day does not need to be a day of isolation. And then just say, no, 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 no. Let others see what you do. Get together with your brothers and sisters in Christ and spend time encouraging each other in the Lord. Spend time with Him. Let them know the goodness of God. Remember, these are just ideas of how to observe the Sabbath to help get it to start it. You do not need to be implement all of them one by one. I recommend prayerfully, considering how God would like you to spend your Sabbath and follow his guidance above all else. For your mere seminar to home, now yet the young couple say yes no. A pastor who says young couple will be strong all the time. Or the man who say yes, the Juma now they are sure to say yes no. Why not correct? Amen. 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 Good. Amen. Amen. Another round of question. What did you learn today that you ought not to do on the Sabbath? You ought not to do on the Sabbath. I'll call on Matt. I've been calling Matt, but he never responded to me. I'll call Matt again. Matt, I don't know what you say in the question or your Sabbath are on yet. Okay, so Matt, oh me, I may call Mama Betty. Mama Betty, and then what you you marry you ought not to do. I own your Sabbath day. Ah, me. I don't have to, uh, I don't have to clean. I don't have to wash. Uh, I don't have to be uh, alone because of Sabbath. 
Good. I have to be, I have to be with my children, or uh, I can go outside and walk around. I have to talk to my children about uh, about Sabbath or Bible studies. We have to make a Bible study. Uh, uh, okay. It's okay. Now, what it's I okay. It's okay. Mama, it's enough. You've said more than enough. Give somebody a chance to say something. What can be a year? The work can in a year, Medassi. As I can in a year. Excuse okay. me. Um, is it possible that you missed the fourth one? What did you work on? Yeah. Hello. Please, your question. Is it possible that you missed number four? Yes, I missed number four. Yes. Okay, because I was going through. Uh, it's one, okay. two, three, five, six, seven, eight, oh, nine, ten. Okay, okay. Uh, please, can you show us again? Tell me what you hear first before I show you again. Uh, I, <laughs> I heard we should avoid, uh, when it's Sabbath, we should avoid the uh, house choice, clean bathroom, all house choice, and then at the same time, we need to uh, invite friends for a fellowship. Good. And what are the things you will not do? They are one year. Ah, okay. And TV. You should, you should abstain from TV or any other social media. Good. That are not helpful. Eh? But when I post this on the line, you can watch him. That one for sure. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Because I'll I show you. It. When I'll I show came, you are, you are in on number seven. Ah, okay. All right. I'll show it again for you. Don't worry. I'll show it for you. Okay. Yes. In Shreva Dufie, please, what did you hear? Please, I heard that you said um, we should have family Bible studies. Yes. Yes. And we should invite friends to for fellowship. Yes. yes. Good. And we should spend time outside and enjoy Yahweh's creation. Thank you very much. Feeling the I... air and mm -hmm. the breeze of peace and the whispers of birds to see how great Yahweh is. Of course. Thank you. Good, you have done well, you have done well. Good, who else? The last person, please. Last person to bring a contribution. Yes, then we oh, close it with the Bible. All verse. the things we tend to do normally, all the things we do, the other six days of the week, social media, TV, things, the earthly things we enjoy, mm -hmm. we should afford Good. on Good. Sabbath. Good. And what we should do is everything that concerns Yahweh, um, everything we are learning here pleases Yahweh, praising him, learning about the word, uh, keeping fellowship with each other, teaching uh, ourselves, have lessons of uh, studying of the Bible among one another, teaching your children, and playing music around the house. Yes. Worship nice. and pray. Good. Amen. 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 So I have put a summary on the page now. You can screenshot it and then you can have all of them from 3 to 10, if you like. Or are they too small? You want it bigger? It's okay. Yes, please, a little bit. Okay, let me make it bigger for you then. Just a second. Then you can have them with you. Then anytime you can just view it on your phone. That's the tenth one from ten. Make a screenshot. Yes. Number nine. Number eight. Number seven. No, how 
six. Number six. Half a summer Bible credit card. Number five. Spend extra time reading your Bible and praying. Good. Number three. Question number four. Number four, me skip it, man. Farmer. Social media. Number two. No TV. <laughs> no TV. Number one. Okay. Other matters. Good. No Netflix for Carol. So let me go back and start from here. The orange colors. Those are the very well the do's. Very soon we go to the Bible quotation for one or two, then we close. It's almost nine. Spend time with family. Take this one. Attend services. Read and study the word. Set apart, make it different from other days. Go outside and enjoy the good things that Elohim Yahweh has made, the creation. Create a new tradition in your home, something that you don't normally do. Do it differently, all in the name of bringing glory to Elohim Yahweh. A delightful day. Or shut it like a bride, as Papa Isaac said. We the guys, if your girlfriends, I'm going to visit you. You clean your house, you make a good bed sheet, you spread the corners, you go to the way, say, make everything clean. Or even at home, we say, we are going to receive a visitor. When our pastors come to visit you, look at how you tidy your house. The same thing. You have to welcome the day. You have to welcome the day as if you are expecting a visitor. That's how you should have at the back of your mind. Or shine it like a bride. Do good. Yeah, Papa. On Sabbath day, yeah, Papa. The monthly more day, a bit more day. Yeah, it's more day. Now, yeah, Papa, on Sabbath day. Uh -huh. Fill your home. Not with stuff, but fill your home with praises. The song I just played on Friday evening. Play it. Welcome it. A Sabbath songs. Praises song. Worship song. Let that atmosphere fill your home. Talk with your children about God. Make a screen capture of this. Good. Take a nap because you're a human being. After doing all this, since you get tired, have time and rest. That's the end of it. Good. Any question up to this point? Any question up to this point? I will I will rest the I will put the rest on hold the uh, what do you call it the principles for next week because it's already nine o'clock. Uh -huh. We next week we go through these principles of the Sabbath, and then from there we learn something on it so that we can close this chapter. So let me close the sharing for now and open room for contributions and questions, please. Nine o'clock, we close. Shalom, shalom. Elder Andrew. Yahweh, shalom. Pep. Shalom, oh, shalom. Sir, I just want to ask a question about, uh, let's say I have a big company and uh, I have choose to worship in Sabbath. And then Sabbath, I will not go to work, but I will hire somebody to take over my company or to take over my work for me is this also allowed for me as a sabbatarian to do that why don't, don't you we... instead ask the person also to keep the sabbath instead of you hiring him Baba, 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 don't worry yourself even don't you even <laughs> mention that you think that you don't you don't you don't 
want? Why are you giving? Why are you putting somebody? somebody else? You don't. You ah. You didn't hear what the Bible says. It says when remember the Sabbath. Is it even a, a visitor, a stranger who has even come to your home? You, you mm -hmm. have to observe the Sabbath with him. Even so animals. It means you need money. Yeah. Then you you no, no, yeah, I know you because we have it. some of we have some people they do the Sabbath and at the same time that's why I'm just asking the question. Okay. Uh, they are not they are not rare Sabbathian. Hmm? That that doesn't mean that some if someone is going to uh, church on Saturday, the person is because I I remember when I came to Germany first, uh, a very prominent man who who used to be an elder in a uh, uh, this church, as the he used to go, he used to carry me with his car to church. But later, I came to see that this man have a store, a flow show. But anytime when he's going to church in the Sabbath, he opened the store for people to sell. And not just that, even his, he sell alcohol in the, in the shop. So I said to myself, ah, is this man always standing in the presence of the congregation and teaching in the church? And he called himself a Sabbatarian. Not everybody that go to church on Sabbath, that the person is a rare Sabbatarian. The rare Sabbatarian is the one who obey, who obey the law of the creator, but not just, that's why the Bible say many are called, but only few were chosen. That, if that few were the, those who obey the laws of the creator. Have you seen? So that one, added, my sister, it doesn't hold. It is the same money. You are, they are working for you. That money, when they bring that money, is is your own money. So it's, it's the same. You are working. Yeah. To add a bit to what Papa Isaac just said, I own my driving school here. So on Friday by 5 o'clock, I close. My car must rest. If I'm resting, my car too must rest. I could have just as well hand my car over to somebody else to continue the work. No, 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 no. The money will still come. I'm not interested in that. My car must rest. My customers know that today I don't work. They respect that. So that one is a quick answer for you, Mama Perpetua. God bless right. you. Yeah, God bless you too. Even the Bible says, even that day, even if you have a sheep or cattle, don't even open them to go out. Don't open them to go out. You have to keep them, feed them at home, prepare food for them. Yeah. Okay. Malon, you were saying something. Yeah, I have a question about Sabbath day starts on Friday. Yeah. And it's from, it starts six o'clock, but when you go on the internet, it's maybe the Jews, eh? then they say uh, the Sabbath starts um, from evening to evening, evening, as the Sabbath of the Lord our God, evening is at sunset. Uh -huh. It starts at sunset and it ends with sunset. Uh -huh. But here in Europe, sunset will be earlier, earlier. around this time or later. On Sometimes day. it will be later. later from December going, it will be starting from four o'clock, five o'clock. And in summer. And summer will be 10 late. 10 so does it have to do with the time? <laughs> or is it just or six, six, or six? Okay, let I know your story. Let me let me uh, let me quickly bring in here. When you go to Genesis chapter five, Genesis chapter one, verse five began was yeah. Um when God was creating everything, the Bible says that God called the light day and the darkness he called night, and there was evening. And the morning was the first day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The daytime is light. The evening time is darkness. So the evening comes and the morning comes. So when you are greeting somebody, when do you say could the avant? Do you say could the avant at 12 o'clock in the afternoon? No. You say could the avant or good evening at 6 p.m. So evening starts at 6 p.m. So when I'm greeting you, Oh yeah, it's still for six. It is still middag. It's still afternoon. When it's a minute for six, it's still middag. But when it says you serve, when it says o'clock in the evening, it's evening. evening. So yeah. I'll greet you. Good evening, Sister Carol.
how are you doing it's six o'clock so the evening and the morning is one day so friday evening friday about um, says you six o'clock the summer has begun to the following evening now let me bring this one in apostle made the announcement that we are fasting mm -hmm. people who were born on monday we are fasting from 6 p.m today as at now i am in it yeah. Yeah. so tomorrow evening is one full day mm -hmm. so it's not a winter 10 o'clock and summertime five o'clock no 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 six o'clock is evening okay mm, okay Please. thank you thank you thank you, thank you. Yeah. Any question again, please? And Papa, let me ask more. Yeah. After the after the death of Yeshua Miza, they say the true woman prepare and uh, uh, prepare something that they, they want to go to the tomb to use it for the body of the uh, Yeshua Miza. But as they were going, the Bible say on the road, Sabbath came and met them. It was six o'clock. Yeah. So they obey what the law has said. So they return back. And the Bible will say, after the Sabbath in the evening, they decided to go there again. So it means the creator has given us, as the papa, uh, uh, our teacher is saying, the, the day starting from the evening to the, that's what the Bible say, from sunset to another sunset, from the evening to the evening. So we have 12 hours in the night and 12 hours in the in the in the, the day. Uh, in the day make 24 hours. This is the origin from the creator as the world have changed it because it was a prophecy in Daniel 721 that he shall think to change times and laws. So we are we are observing what the creator have told us. Amen. 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 Good. Any question anymore? Then we close. Is everybody satisfied? Yes, Ishraba, Mary, Edith, Edith, I haven't heard you speaking today. Is everything clear up to this point, please? Please, yes, everything is clear. Bibi Abako, Bibi Yo, Yo, that brings us to the close of today. We bless Elohim Yahweh for teaching us his word. We ask his spirit to help us so that we can continue to abide by it. Amen. 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 We ask Master Malone to pray over the Bible study for us. Lord Elohim Yahweh, our Father, we thank you for this Bible study on this Sunday. We thank you for the words that we received for all the thoughts. We thank you for we know that your Holy Spirit was with us, each and every one of us in our homes from which we were attending this Bible study meeting. Thank you, Lord, for the wisdom, for the understanding, for putting your words in us. We ask you to bless all the days that are coming. We ask you to bless the next week. Bless us, our children, our homes, our work, and bless us in observing your Ten Commandments. In the name of Joshua Messiah, amen. 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 Let's, share, let's share the grace together. May the amen. grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord ever and ever. Amen. Amen. Go in peace and sleep.